All right, podcast 5.4, we're gonna actually start looking at the reaction types now. Okay, which means we're gonna get into demos and stuff in class. We're gonna be looking at um, different kinds of labs to show uh, these kinds of reactions. And these first three are very similar to one another. Um, and my, my copy didn't go very well, so I'm gonna move this down so I can write a little bit easier. And we're gonna start with a synthesis reaction. And synthesis means um, to make something new. We're, we're taking uh, elements and we're synthesizing a new compound. So a synthesis reaction is uh, the formation of one product uh, from two reactants. Okay, so we're forming one product from two reactants. So the example, if I want to start with just a general. So we're going to have A plus B gives us compound C. Um, so we have two things going, but only one compound coming out. And the chemical reaction we're going to use to look at this is the formation of ammonia. So the reaction that I, you need to know, so nitrogen is a gas, so it's diatomic, plus hydrogen, a gas, is so it's also diatomic, forms this compound called ammonia, NH3. Um, and so this is a synthesis reaction. Now, if you're, if you're quick, you notice right away that this is not balanced because I have two nitrogens going in and only one coming out. So we need a two here, and that means we need a three here. Uh, but this is gonna be your, um, you know, kind of go to synthesis reaction. So notice we have two reactants, nitrogen plus hydrogen, and one product, one compound coming out of this is ammonia. On the other hand, decomposition is just the opposite. So this is the destruction or the decomposition, however you want to put it, of one reactant into two products or its constituent parts. Uh, so for this example, we're going to have compound, uh, we'll call this one AB, just like this would be AB here, I guess. So AB is breaking down into compound A plus compound B separate, or I'm sorry, element A and element B separate from one another. Um, and so the, the chemical reaction for this one, we can break water down. So if we have a, a water molecule, we can decompose this using electricity into its constituent gases, hydrogen, and oxygen, H2 and O2. And again, notice that this is not a balanced equation because I have one oxygen going in and two coming out. So I need a two here and a two here. So synthesis and decomposition are very similar to one another. They're just opposite processes. Um, this, the third kind of reaction we're gonna be looking at, sorry, so decompose two. The third one is a combustion. And this is similar to, uh, I don't know, um, it, we could say it's like a synthesis because it's a combination of a carbon compound or just pure carbon, carbon will burn. Um, and we mix this with oxygen, okay, to form CO2 and water, and H2O. Um, it, it's not quite a synthesis though because we've got two things going together and forming two different products. Um, so don't really think of it as a synthesis. This is its own class of reaction. Um, and I'm not gonna give you a general outline for this one because they're always gonna be the same. It's gonna be a carbon compound plus oxygen will give us carbon dioxide and water. So we'll look at the combustion of methane. So we're gonna look at CH4, okay, so a carbon compound plus oxygen will burn, will combust to form carbon dioxide and water. And again, this is not a balanced equation because I have four hydrogens here and only two, so I need two there giving me, uh, let's see, oxygen now, two plus two times one is two, so four in the products, and I've only got two here, so I need a two there. Um, so these are the first three reaction types. Um, this uh, combustion reaction, this was the, the water bottle, the whoosh bottle. Yeah! Oh, Okay, the one I did in class with the big water jug, um, and you drop a match in with some, actually we used methanol for that, but same same idea where it goes, and it, you know, it combusts right away. Um, but anytime we have a combustion reaction, we get fire. Okay, this is a fire producing reaction, that extra energy is released as heat and light. Um, so these are your first three reaction types, and we're going to start recognizing what these are uh, as we look at different reactions in class.